useless we was. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, right. hey how about a little gratuity yeah, here? You for how about a little oh, compensation? Come on, six pieces, hey. please. All right, that's, that's a little better. better. But two fish. That's awful limp, Luke. We've been laboring in a delusion. You ain't just... Hey, ain't you gonna wait for your change? Can you spare it? Spendthrift, two bits. Hmm. Hey, that's two packs of cigarettes! Hey, hey Mark, what if we do find this Luke Manning's body? What do we do with it? Throw it back to the fish. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Cliffy? He can't swim. I don't know. He was around a minute ago. Oh, gosh, what if he's drowned? Who's going to tell his mother? Oh, he's an Orpheum. Orpheum, that's the name of a theater. Orpheum. Hey, fellas, look. Look at the education. Oh, my God, look at the Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Who, me, officer? <laughs> I'm just getting a bit of a suntan, that's all. Where are your pals? Oh, I don't know where they are. Are all these your clothes? Yes, sir. Seven changes, one for every day in the week. Hey, you kids, come on out. Well, what's eating you? Come on down. The water's fine for drowning. I don't want any trouble from you kids, so you better hop on up here. Yeah, here we come. What do you want? What's the trouble? Well, you're going for a ride. Go for oh, a ride? Come on the sunny side, will you? Okay, about you're that going park. to headquarters. Get on your clothes. So you'll be leaving for the Army soon, eh, Bill? Yeah. I'm taking my physical next week. I'm sorry to see you leave, Bill. What are you going to do about that kid brother of yours? That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Mullins. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, with my gun in the army, Danny's gonna be on his own. But I don't want him running around the streets. I know what that leads to, juvenile court and reform school. I saw enough of that kind of stuff when I was at the Wilton School for Boys. Yeah, so you once told me. Say, Bill, why did you quit that job? I didn't like the way they handled kids. That's why I've always done everything I could for Danny. So as he wouldn't have to see the inside of that or any reform school. Yeah, and you've done a good job of it, son. Thanks. The only thing that'll help Danny's a real job. Now, I was wondering if you could... If I could put him to work, huh? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Mullins. Well, he's a big, strong kid. He could do this job easy. Well, bring him around this afternoon. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that's swell, boss. You won't be sorry. Hey, Bill. Bill, the cops are arresting Danny and the gang. Arresting Danny? Yeah. Where is he? Over there. Let's go. Get away from this bed house, will you? It's private. You know, I think you're framing us. Go on, Scram. You've got to please. Come on, get your clothes on. I'm going to get the D.A. I'm going to get the D.A.'s brother. What's wrong, officer? Who are you? I'm this kid's brother. Well, they stole the truck from McCary Street, and there's no mistake about it, because they caught him red-handed. Stole a truck? Look, Mr. Wise Guy, maybe you'll deny you weren't in the front seat of that truck. Yeah, the battery's dead. And maybe you'll say that you didn't tell me that you were working for the company. Oh, you got to tell a little white lie once in a while. Danny, is this true? Yeah, but we was only kidding. You were, were you? Well, this warrant isn't a joke, so come along, peace. Okay, but you'll be sorry you humiliated me in front of my friends. You know, life is going to be a long time. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Remember, hey, but the big thing is done. Dormitory 3, workhouse. Oh, that means I do what, boss? You'll find out, and don't call me boss. Address me as mister. Okay, mister boss. 
Ethelbert McGinnis. Ethelbert McGinnis! Ethelbert? Can you imagine a guy with a moniker like that? Which one of you is Ethelbert McGinnis? We got a McGinnis, but no Ethelbert. Oh, yes, you have. Now, which one of you is it? Oh. What a terrible thing. Uh, I'm Ethelbert. You? Oh, I'm completely disillusioned. So you're Ethelbert McGinnis. It's kind of a name, you know. It's been in the family for a long time. Uh, you might call it a skeleton in a family closet. It'd make me very happy if we just kind of left it there and forgot about it. All right, Ethelbert. I wouldn't use that name if I was you. It's because my father made a mistake. Don't mean you have to do the same thing. Oh, a little wise guy, eh? Wise guy. That's it. Call me Mr. Wise Guy. All right. Now, Mr. Wise Guy, what kind of work have you ever done? Work? Yeah. Work? Yeah, yeah, yeah work. I'm not familiar with the work. Oh. Well, we'll fix that. I was uh, afraid you would. Come in. Can I do something for you? Why, yes. My name is Bill Collins. Danny Collins is my brother. Collins. Collins. Oh, yes, the wine truck keys. They were just admitted. That's right. You think I could see Danny? I'll see. Won't you come this way, please? Say, this place looks much better. Then you've been here before. Yeah, I was a guard for a year and a half. How interesting. Sure. If you like to see kids kicked around and starved, Oh, but you really don't know, Wilton. Lady, I know plenty that isn't good about this place. Oh, things have changed, as you've already noticed. We're here to help the boys, not to hurt them. Sorry if I blew up, miss. But I learned to hate the Wilton Reformatory. I understand. All right, that's all. So Jed Mill is still a guard here. Yeah, things have changed all right. What are you trying to do, miss? Sell me a bill of goods? Daniel Collins. Yes, sir. Maybe you'll remember my brother. He used to work here. Is that so? You must be Bill Collins' brother. That's me. Hoodlums must run in your family. What do you think you're calling names? All right. I apologize. Oh, 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 Just a moment now. What's the trouble here? What's the trouble, Miller? Be careful of him, Mr. Barnes. He's liable to attack you the way he did me. I know him. His name is Bill Collins. He's that hoodlum's brother. Mr. Barnes, I can explain. Mr. Collins once worked here. He was only... Never mind explaining, lady. I can do that. I didn't come here to start a rumpus, but I don't like to see any kid get smacked around. Ah, uh, smacking around is too good for him. That's entirely unnecessary, Miller. And as long as I'm superintendent of this institution, no boy is to be struck. Well, you gotta make him respect authority, don't you? There are even limitations to authority. I hope I make myself clear. Yes, sir. Mr. Collins, Miss Mitchell, would you please come with me? Don't worry, kid. There's a guy that's gonna be all right. Yeah, maybe things won't be so bad after all. I won't forget this in a hurry, and neither will you. All right, my memory ain't so bad either. Mr. Collins, Jim Barnes is my name. How you do? And Mitchell is mine. Mr. Collins, I'm afraid you never knew it, but your testimony and your written resignation was indirectly responsible for a new order here at Wilton. No, I didn't know that. I guess I was in too much of a hurry to get away. <laughs> well, how would you like to take a look around the place now? I'd like it very much. I'm sure Miss Mitchell here wouldn't object to being your guide, would you, Ann? I'd be delighted. Gee, thanks a lot. We'll begin. You didn't have one of those when I was here. I told you, things have changed. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, if I wasn't going in the Army, I wouldn't mind getting my old job back. I'm sure Mr. Barnes would like to have you. In fact, I wouldn't even mind getting sent to reform school. That is, if the uh, other half is anything like you. There's always the guardhouse in the Army. Say, that gives me an idea. I'm taking my physical tomorrow, and I need some more weight if I expect...